Hello everyone, my name is Ben with Tech Summer Homes. I just wanted to welcome you back. Unless this is your first time, then thank you for joining us. Today we are sitting in the Solitaire GKU 378. This is a great 16 foot wide house. It's gonna be 72 foot long. So we're coming in right about 1152 square foot. So we're gonna take a look on the outside, come back inside and showcase the interior of the house. We're also gonna showcase your uh, titanium cabinets and your stainless steel appliances that are in this home. So let's head outside and get this home tour started. All right, everyone, here we are on the outside of the GKU 378. This is the titanium edition, and we'll go into that on the inside. So just wanted to start up front of this house, do a walk around, and show you the interior features after that. So we're gonna start out on the hitch. As you know, Solitaire does come with a custom hitch built by Solitaire. So this hitch is a what's called a three-man hitch. It takes three people to unbolt it and move it. Quite a heavy hitch for a heavy house. So as you know, Solitaire is gonna be a number one in construction. So that's gonna be able to tow this to your location easily and safely. We're gonna go on the back side first. So we're gonna go um, starting at the frame since we started there originally. As you know, we have full length outriggers underneath the house. Something to note, this house is gonna have outriggers every eight foot on center. And it's gonna be even with the sidewall of the house, as you can see. So that's gonna support your uh, sidewall over time. Make sure you have any issues with wall sag. Solitaire home is going to be on a 12 inch I beam. So you can see it's a nice huge I beam underneath. Be able to hold the weight of this house. All right, let's take a look what we got here. Up top, you can see we have a nice six inch eave. One thing about these solitaire eaves is going to have two purposes. First purpose is to keep the water running off the side of your house. So that's going to be able to push the water six inches off the side. Second thing is it's going to house these nice ventilation um, vents here so that your attic space will be able to have cross ventilation and keep your house nice and fresh. Right here, we're gonna have a um, external plug. So be able to plug in power tools and things like that on the outside of the house. We got our uh, low E thermal pane windows, keeping the energy efficiency at the maximum. Right over here, you're gonna see we have the drain outlet. This is gonna be where your plumber is gonna hook into your septic tank or city, as you can see right in the middle, one drop. Most of the time when you're purchasing a manufactured home, your plumber is gonna to have to uh, add multiple drops from the sinks, showers, and everything. It's gonna save you a little bit of money because it's all done all underneath the vapor barrier. Next here, we're gonna have a water heater, um, water heater access panel. As you can see, we got the water heater drains, overflows. And then right here, you can see it's the 200 amp service into the house. So right there, you can see that PVC pipe with the ground coming out of it. Your electrician will be able to fish the wire up through there and connect the house to the power. We're gonna come right over here and you're gonna see we have your dryer vent. And right next to that is gonna be your fresh water connection. That's where the fresh water is gonna come into the home. And right next to the fresh water connection, you're gonna see this nice electrical outlet. That's gonna enable you to plug in a heat strip to protect your water lines in the freezing months. Let's take, a back, let's take a step back, take a look at this nice cottage door in the exterior of the house with your security light above. All right, let's go around the back of this house and then head into the front. With this floor plan, the GKU, the bathroom's a little unique, so you get this nice little pop out to give you a little bit of extra uh, floor space in the bathroom. So that's really beneficial give you a little extra square footage. Right over here, we're gonna get back into the frame. So um, this is gonna be a cross member. This is what's gonna hold your two I-beams together and also stabilize the house during transit. Something to note, this is a Z-channel. So most of the time you're gonna get a C-channel cross member. Nothing wrong with that. This is just a Z-channel, so it's slightly better. The reason why it's better is you're gonna have two bends in the metal that are gonna be the opposite directions. That's gonna make it more rigid than a standard C-channel cross member. So, Really heavy house, it's gonna need a really heavy frame. On top of the roof, we are gonna have 20 year architectural shingles. All right, coming around the front of the house. See, we got this nice, beautiful uh, design as far as the color scheme, nice and neutral. All right, let's go ahead inside the house and see what this titanium package is all about. As we're coming up to the front door, you will notice that we do have a nice 
glass storm door, security light above, and a steel front door. Let's go inside. Okay, so we are inside the GKU 378 Titanium Edition. Stepping into the living room, you can see we do have a nice size living room. Drapery is an already included in the home, as well as your two inch blinds. This house is fully tape and textured. So half inch sheetrock, textured and painted. So this is gonna be your titanium cabinetry. You can see the bookshelf here. Really nice look, we're really excited for the new uh, cabinet colors from Solitaire. Before we get into the kitchen, I did wanna point something out. Underneath this carpet here, you are gonna have a plywood floor. Your floor joists are gonna be two by six, 16 inch on center. Sidewalls will be two by four sidewalls, 16 inches on center as well. If you're enjoying the home tour on this GKU 378, please make sure to hit the like button. Also, if you wanna see more home tours, more single wide, double wide, solitaires, and other manufacturers, be sure to subscribe to the channel where we're gonna to bring to you detailed home tours of all the top manufacturers in the industry. So I would love for you to join us and be part of it. Also, if you have any comments, just go ahead and put them below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Love to hear some upgrades that you would suggest. So anyways, let's go ahead and finish up this home tour. All right, let's take a look at this kitchen. Beautiful kitchen in this GKU. I've always liked it. The stainless steel appliances just give it a little bit more pop. So we're gonna go right over here. You see we have our glass top, stainless steel range and oven. We have the vent hood directly above it. Here's a good look at these titanium cabinets. Super excited about it. Stainless steel sink with your little sprayer nozzle. Stainless steel dishwasher. Four drawer bank. Every solitaire home is gonna come standard with all real wood cabinetry. So as you can see, all real wood. Shelving's all real wood. Very nice, high quality. Take a look at how many cabinets are actually in this house. Really, really nice. Here we go, we have our stainless steel refrigerator. All right, right over here, we're gonna have a super nice little dining area. So it does keep it separate than the kitchen. It gives you a middle walkthrough to the back of the house, but plenty of area over here for a dining room table. Keep it out of the way, not really in your walkway, which I really do like. All right, let's head to the utility room as we go through these signature solitaire saloon doors. So let's go right through these here. Okay, so here we have your washer dryer set up, two overhead cabinets. Going to have your uh, washing con washer connections and your dryer connections. Right over here, we're going to have your uh, whole house water shut off. Right here, we're going to have our whole house ventilation system. So that's going to be venting right there. Right behind me, you can see we do have a spot for a fridge freezer, stand-up fridge freezer, electrical plug. And here's another look at your rear steel cottage door. Sorry for the light, y'all. All right, let's go on back out of here and go take a look at the master bedroom. Boom. So as we come in the master bedroom, you can see you have a nice double door into the bathroom. Sizable room as well. This house is gonna come standard with the ceiling fan installed. Point out here, since we're here, you see we do have your crown molding atop. Let's go take a look at this walk-in closet. Plenty of place in the walk-in closet. You're gonna have your wooden shelves and your wooden hanging rods. So there's even a little bit here. Nope, there's nothing behind there. Sorry about that. All right, let's go take a look at this bathroom. So why don't we come up? You can see we do have a huge mirror right up front. Plenty of light coming in. Porcelain sink. Take a look at all the cabinets below. There we go, we got our nice soaking tub. One piece fiberglass, you don't have to worry about any leaks. 
Also, this flooring here is hand laid vinyl tile. This is not the peel and stick stuff, guys. This does need professional glue to hold it down. So you're getting a quality product. It's just not going to peel up over time. You're going to have your uh, toilet with your overhead cabinetry, all porcelain toilets. Then we're going to have our one piece fiberglass stand up shower. I know it looks small, but I'm telling you, I could fit in this thing. Easily. Let's get in here and take a look. Mm. No problems there. All right, let's head over to the guest side of the house. Take another quick look at this amazing kitchen. All right, let's head over to the guest side. So we're gonna go down the hallway. Real quick here on the left side, you're gonna see we have our furnace. So we're gonna be able to uh, switch out your air filter in the home. Come into the second bedroom. Just gonna take a look in here. There we go, nice second bedroom. Closets are nice size as well. And you can see we're even tape, or, tape and texturing the bedroom closets. So again, fully tape and textured. Nice linen storage right in front of the guest bathroom. Let's head on to bedroom number three. And a good closet as well. Something to notice, you are getting six panel doors. So you're not getting just the, you know, flat, cheap apartment style doors. You're getting a nice six panel door. Give you a nice residential feel. Let's head into the bathroom. So one piece combo tub shower. Take a look at this mirror, china sink, porcelain sink, and all real wood cabinetry, and then your porcelain toilet. Also, if you notice, wherever we have tile, you're going to have your uh, floor trim. All right, everyone, there we have it. That's the GKU 378 Titanium Edition. So great house, great value. You're saying we got some nice modern look in the way they package up this solitaire. So these ones don't come around as often, but I'm glad to be able to share it with you. If you want to see some more home tours on some solitaire houses, be sure to click on the video right here. We're going to have another great solitaire home tour for you to take a look at. All right, everybody, we'll see you in the next one.